Many Ukrainians have relocated here in the metro and they're watching the Russian invasion of their homeland from afar. Our reporter Dan Cohen takes us to William Jewell College to tell one professor's story. Dr. Yuri Botts came to the U.S. from Ukraine in 2008 to continue his education. He joined the William Jewell faculty in 2013 and recently achieved another milestone here. Last week, there was my ceremony with uh, another 150 people from, I believe, 52 countries. And uh, yeah, I became a citizen here in the United States last week. A dual citizen of this country and his native nation. I'm proud to be a citizen of a country where freedom is valued, freedom of expression, freedom of electing the president you want, freedom of speech, uh, freedom of religion, all of the things that U.S. stands for, uh, Ukraine stands for and upholds. From his current home, he's watching his homeland fight. This is day 27, that's how you no longer count the days of the month, you count the days of the war. With Yuri in Kansas City and his sister in France, they check on their parents every day who remain in ivano frankivsk in western Ukraine. My sister prefers they leave, I prefer they leave, but uh, so far my parents said no, we would like to stay, this is our country, this is where we live, uh, and uh, so far they're uh, staying there. Staying with an option to go to France. But Yuri says not every family has options as Ukraine confronts a refugee crisis as it counts military and civilian casualties. They've been displaced, their property has been destroyed. They left with whatever they could grab. They're in a foreign country. They need place to stay, they need food, they need to work, they need to make money. This is, uh, this is, Devastating. In the face of that devastation, a new dual citizen proudly holds two flags. That is what I'm proud of, that my country not only values that, but now is defending uh, that freedom. In Kansas City, Dan Cohen, KSHB 41 News.